continue with our combination with repetition. So I just want to go through two examples in this video. And the first example is if I give you this equation a plus b plus c plus d all to the power of 10, and I asked you how many terms are there in this equation, then how would you do it? Well, each distinct term in this, if we expand this, is in the form of uh, 10 choose and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 times w and 1 x and 2 y and 3 and z and 4 and uh, for for all these n1 to n4 they are they are uh, they are greater than or equal to zero. So this is an i and from one to four. So remember, we already know what this is. We did it before, and remember that for n one, n two, n three, and four, they when we add them all up, they must equal to ten. So we know that our equation would be n one plus n two plus n3 plus n4 and adding all these up they must equal to 10 and I'm beach balling and 4 so they all must add up to 10 well we already have our equation now r would be equal to 10 and n would be equal to 4 and that's as easy as it gets. We use the formula, which is C4 plus 10 minus 1, choose 10. There are 284 ways. So there are 284 terms, ways or terms. So if I ask you how many terms there are in, in A, B, A plus B plus C plus D to the power of 10, well, you just go through this how we did it, this process here, and uh, yeah, what we get is 286 ways or terms. And remember, terms are um, like w1, x, x5, y1, and uh, z1, or is that right? x5, y1, that would be equal to 7, and so z has to be like 3 years. And, and 4 had to be equal to 3 or something. So that would be like one term of the 286 terms that exist. So the second example is count the number of compositions for the number 8. So by common compositions, what I mean is, for example, uh, one composition is, I don't know, um, by composition, what we mean is, like x1 plus x2 equals 8 and x1 plus x2 plus x3 these are two different general compositions and uh, let's say 4 plus 4 would be one composition uh, 6 plus 2 would be another composition 2 plus 6 would be a composition so there are a lot of different ways that we can get to number 8 but you don't want to go ahead and list out all these different compositions by hand because that would take an eternity. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to find a more simpler way to get these compositions. So for the first part, how can we get how many ways are there to get the to get number eight with one composition? So with one composition, one and I'm lagging again. I really hate it when this thing lags. Stupid max. So with one composition, or I'll just call it comp for short. So with how many ways to make eight if we just had x1? Well, if we just had x1, then the only way to make eight is just to put eight. That's only one. That's the only way to make uh, to make eight with one composition. How about two? Well, with two compositions. We have two variables, x1 plus x2. So these two must add up to 8, where x1 
x2 is greater than 0. Well, what we actually do here, this is actually, this is equal to the number of integer solutions for y1 plus y2. And this will be equal to 6. So these two, you could you could just say for sure that they're, they're that, that they're equal. So dun, 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 dun. so you can say that these two are equal. So this y one plus y two equals six, where y one y two is greater than or equal to zero. So what you do here is you find out that x1 plus x2 equals 8 is equal to y1 plus y2 equals 6. And in such cases, the number of solutions we find is uh, 2 plus 6. Minus 1, choose 6, which is equal to 7, choose 6. So we found that x for two compositions where x1 plus x2 is equal to 8, we found that that is equal to y1 plus y2 equals 6, where y1 and y2 is greater than or equal to 0, then all we do is we just we use this, we use 6 as our r, and we use uh, 2 as our n to get this. Why these are exactly equal, I'm, I don't really remember why, but this is just a process and how it works when, when they ask you to, to get the number of, number of compositions for, for a number. So this is how they do it for two compositions. For three compositions, it's the same thing. So for three compositions, you could just make it so that you have x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals 8. Well, you, are, you already know that y1 plus y2 plus y3 equal to 5. So you just do the choose thingy, 3, 5, minus 1, 5, which equal to 7, choose 5. So that's the pattern of, uh, that's a pattern to the solution of count the number of compositions for the number 8 or for any kind of number. That's the pattern. So what you want to do is you want to do this for, uh, for, or all the ways where we get where we have four compositions that make up eight, five compositions, six, seven, eight compositions to make up eight. And you actually find that in speech volume, this is really wasting time, it's pissing me off. You find that for four compositions, what we get is seven, choose four, for five compositions. 7 choose 3, for 6 compositions, 7 choose 2, for 7 compositions, 7 choose 1, and for 8 compositions, uh, 7 choose 0. And of course, when we have one composition, it's 7 choose 7. So at the end of the day, you would have to add these all up. So you have 7 choose 7 plus 7 choose 6 plus 7 choose 5, 7 choose 4 plus 7 choose 3, 2 plus 7 choose 1 plus 7 choose 0. And adding these all up, this is really equal to the summation of 7 with k equals 0 and um, 7 choose k. 7 choose k. 7 choose k. So you add these all up and you'll get your number of compositions for the number 8, which is something that I don't know because I didn't expand it out. But to give you a general idea, in general, this is the rule. If you want to avoid doing all this, then in general, one finds that for any positive integer n, for any positive 
integer m, there would be or there are e m minus one k equals zero to m minus one k, and this is equal to two m to the power of one. Uh, fuck. This is equal to 2m minus 1. So that's 2m minus 1 compositions. Compositions. So if we... What I wanted you to do in the beginning was find date, right? So in general, one finds that if for any positive integer n, we just follow this formula and then we'll get the number of compositions. So I told you to get 8, you plug in 8 for m, 8 minus 1 equals 7, k equals 0, 8 minus 1 equals 7, k equals, and k equals 0, add them all the way up to uh, 7, and you will get your number of compositions. So the number of compositions for 8 is actually 2 to the power of 7 which is, I don't know what that is, but you could just expand that out in your calculator. So that is the, that is pretty much the way to get the, count the number of compositions for any positive number. You could go through the hard way, which is what I showed you with all these black uh, letters, or you could just use the general formula that I had out in blue at the end of this video, or at the end of this page, you could use this equation. Other than that, that's the end of this chapter or end of combinations. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and I'll see you guys again.